Hi there, welcome back to Synchro Secrets, the go-to channel for all things artistic swimming. My name is Agata and today I am going to show you my day as an online artistic swimming coach. Coaching this beautiful sport online has been a challenge but also a very rewarding journey. So I can't wait to share my day with you. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss any of my videos. Since I have been traveling a lot, my typical day depends on the time zone and the country that I am located at. It is quite challenging to get used to changes and like come up with good habits in each place. And it usually takes me around two weeks to get accustomed to the new country and new schedule. My weekly training sessions stay the same for my athletes, so the time is the same for them, but for me it is always different. So I have to make sure that I plan around the training sessions, so this way I can come up with different habits and I can plan my day accordingly and hopefully I can get used to the changes faster and faster in the future. Today I am going to walk you through my day in the US time zone. That means ET, but if you are interested in watching a video where I am located in Europe, just comment down below and I will see what I can do. First things first, mornings are crucial to set the tone for the day. I usually get up at 7.30 in the morning, make a cup of green tea and run my affirmation to start the day with positive energy. Once I'm ready for the day, I check my to-do list for the day, which I always prepare the night before. I have to be honest, I love all kinds of lists, so if I have a to-do list, I usually feel more motivated and more productive because I can see what I have to do every working hour and this somehow keeps me in track. How do you feel about to-do lists? Let me know in the comment section. After my quick morning routine, I start with content creation for Instagram and for YouTube. I usually dedicate Mondays and Tuesdays for this task, so I'm ready for the upcoming week. As a content creator, part of my day involves creating valuable content for my students and followers. Whether it's breaking down a complex move or sharing tips for improvement, I love using various platforms to connect with the artistic swimming community. Most of you might have seen me on Instagram, but since YouTube is new for me, I am very happy to connect with all of you. So content creation starts with planning for me. So I usually spend around one hour for Instagram to plan all the content, all the posts, all, all the reels for one week in advance. And I do the same for YouTube, but since this is only four videos per month, I plan a monthly schedule for YouTube. And during this time, I sit down and I brainstorm all the ideas and all the topics that I think I should cover for my audience. And sometimes it is not very easy because I am not at the pool all the time. So I really have to plan in advance when I'm going to go to the pool or maybe I'm not gonna go to the pool at all. So this is when I have to come up with some creative ideas and creative solutions. So I actually do not have to go to the pool, right? So this process takes time and it takes planning. Now, once I finish with content planning, I move on to content creation, which means usually I create three to four posts for Instagram. YouTube videos need more preparation. I usually write down the whole script of the things I want to cover and say. So I feel ready when I sit down in front of the camera and I know what to talk about. And I usually leave this task or at the end of Monday or Tuesday, or I do it on another day when I feel more creative and inspired. All right, time for some breakfast. I will be right back. Alright, so after a quick breakfast, it is time for my virtual sessions and usually I spend some time to prepare for them. I check the figures that I think my athletes will do during this session and I also think of creative ways on how to help my athletes. Now it's time to connect with my amazing athletes and artistic swimming is all about execution and precision for me. I always repeat to my swimmers that I prefer them to do the exercises slower but with a maximum tension and precision than fast and floppy. We will increase the speed once the slower moves are better. Through the screen, I guide my students in perfecting their techniques, providing feedback and fostering a positive and supportive learning environment. Sometimes the training will go for 5 hours for different athletes but without a break for me. In the middle of a productive day, it is essential to take a break and refuel. Some days I have time at the end of the day for video editing for my YouTube channel or for my online courses. Of course, this all depends on how many online lessons I had that day. If it was five lessons in a row, then I would most likely not edit 
And as my deadline is approaching, I think every coach should take care of themselves and do something good for their mind and body. I find that working out calms me down and let me wind down after a challenging day. It feels like I can take on even more challenges. As the day quiet is down, I like to sit down and reflect on my day. Did I make any improvements with my students or do they need any more help or how can I help them even more? This is kind of time for reflection, not very like active approach, more thinking and reflecting and slowing down for the day. It is crucial to continuously improve and adapt as a coach, ensuring that each day is a step forward. I also like to read a book before bed. It allows me to get ready for sleep. And that's a wrap of my day for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see more videos like this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. And that's all. See you in the next one. Bye!